Welcome viewers. Today's mass we are given exponential equation if 27 raised to the power x is equal to 1 all over x then what is the value of x? Kindly watch till the end which is going to be a very brief video from the solution to the question okay we are given that 27 raised to the power x is equal to 1 all over x the first step I will take into this question is to raise both sides of the equation to power 1 all over x. And the essence of that, the reason for doing that is to get rid of x to the left hand side, the x, which is the power of 27 by the left hand side. And that means I have 27 raised to the power x all to the power of 1 over x equal to 1 all over x raised to the power 1 all over x. You see, when you raise an equation both sides to the same power you have not changed the equation so the equation remains the same what i mean is that if i have a equal to uh, let's say b and when i say a is raised to power 2 b also will be raised to power 2 so you have not changed the equation therefore what i have done is that you see by law of indices i will have x inside the bracket multiplying 1 over x outside the bracket that is law of exponential function in indices. And that becomes 27 raised to the power x all over x equal to 1 all over x all to the power of 1 over x. Now, x will cancel out at x to give us 27 equal to 1 all over x all to the power of 1 over x. Now, also, in indices, I want you to know that when you have a to the power of a equal to b to the power of b, it implies that a is equal to b. When the base and the power are the same, and to the uh, equals, uh, right hand side, the base also is equal to the right. What it means is that the base is equal to the base and the power is equal to the power. What it means now is that since we have 1 over x as the base by the right hand side, and the power is also 1 all over x by the, the power is also 1 all over x. Then it means by the left hand side, I am going to express 27 to have the same thing as what we have by the right, that is, having the base to be the same thing as the power. And to do that, you can agree with me that 27 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. And that means 3 to the power of 3. So I can now write 27 as uh, 3 raised to the power 3 equal to 1 all over x, then to the power of 1 over x. What this implies is that, since we said that, when the base and the power are the same by the left, and the, it is equal to the base and the power being the same, then it means that the base and the power are equal. That is what I have just established. By the left, the base is 3, and the power is also 3. Then by the right hand side, the base is 1 over x, and the power is also 1 over x. What it means is that this law of indices we apply. Okay? Please do subscribe to my channel, Tutor Cletus Okoli. Good. Now, the base by the left is 3, and the power, the base by the right hand side is also 1 over 3, okay? Therefore, the base by the left is equal to the base by the right. The same thing is the base by the, the power of the left is equal to the power of the right. So we can say that 3 is equal to 1 over x, power of the left equal to the power of the right. And also the base by the left is the same thing as the base by the right hand side. Now, this is just like 3 over 1 by cross multiplication. x times 3 is 3x and 1 times 1 is 1, meaning that x that is dividing both sides by 3, meaning that x is equal to 1 over 3. This is the value of x. Meanwhile, in a very brief, maybe a minute or two, let us test result. Test result. What I mean by that is, Putting the value of x into the given question, okay? I am given that 27 raised to the power x is equal to 1 all over x. Now that my x is 1 all over 3, I will write that 27 raised to the power 1 over 3 is it equal to 1 all over 1 all over 3. Now, I have replaced the values of x to be 1 over 3 in the given question to see if the right hand side and the left will be equal. And when they are equal, it will tend to case the answer that we have gotten, that the value of x is 1 over 3, and it is very correct. Therefore, 
1 over 3, 27 raised to the power 1 over 3 is the same thing as cube root of 27 equal to 1 divided by 1 over 3. That is what this means. But what is the cube root of 27? It is 3. Cube root means what number can you divide? What number can you multiply 3 times to give you 27? Cube root of 27. That means if I have 27 divided by 3, I get 9. Divided by 3, I get 3. And divided by 3, I get 1. So it means that 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 will give me 27. Therefore, cube root of 27 is 3. And also, 1. Division will change to multiplication and you invert the, the next fraction, which is now becoming 3 all over 1. Therefore, our answer can now be 1 times 3, which is a 3. Now, we can conclude that the value of x is actually equal to 1 over 3. Since 3 by the left is also equal to 3 by the right. Having substituted the value of x as 1 over 3, we got the left hand side equal to the right hand side. Thank you for watching to the end. Please do subscribe to my channel. God bless you.